Hello everyone and welcome to my mini little Colourpop haul first impression video. I'm super excited to film this. Um, I received this makeup about a few days ago and I've had to struggle so hard not to play with anything yet. I kind of have a little bit, I have to admit, but I've tried to um, hold off. Like I wasn't going to open the box even, but I have opened it. So it came in this box and didn't take long to ship at all. But this was pretty fast and it came in cool box. I said Colourpop, I really liked that. Last time I ordered from here, they didn't have this whole box then. So it's pretty cool. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression kind of look um, with everything that I bought because it should all kind of work together to make one makeup look. So I didn't order a whole lot of stuff. I just wanted to treat myself. The most exciting thing that I bought is that one of the My Little Pony packages, gift sets, I guess you'd call it. I was just going to get the eyeshadow palette, but then I fell in love with everything else from the My Little Pony range, so I got one of the sets. That's kind of what this look I'm going to create is going to be using mainly but then there are a few little things that I got that I've just been wanting from Colourpop for a while. First of all I got the ultra matte lip in Bumble which I've been wanting for ages. It's not actually in here because I have used it a couple of times so I will admit to it. Reviews are so good. This is really really good. Such a nice formula on your lips. It's not sticky at all. It's not thick. I um love my favorite liquid lipsticks that I've been using are the Gerard Cosmetics. I really like them and I still really like them. This is different though. This is quite a thick formula whereas this is not thick at all and just glides onto your lip effortlessly. I love it. The only downfall and I don't is probably just my mouth. It really does start to come off in inside of my lip you know where it's wet. Um, but other than that it's a beautiful color. Oh, it's so so that's Bumble right there. Such a nice colour and it just dries out to completely matte. So yeah, that was just one thing that I had to open. I also got um, a cream gel liner which I'll hopefully be using today, I'm kind of nervous. This is in the shade Crybaby. So I'll show you what Crybaby looks like, I'm super excited. I haven't opened this yet, I haven't swatched it. It's gonna come out. So it's a, like a lilac colour. And I'll swatch it on my hand quickly. I really like that. It's so... It just broke. Um, okay. I still have faith. I feel like I just need to be super gentle with it. But... Oh, that's the colour of it. See, the colour is so cool. But it just crumbled apart. I had... There was another gel liner that I wanted. The yellow one. Um, but people had said that it did just kind of crumble apart when they applied it so I'm nervous about this one but this one had good reviews so maybe I was just pushing too hard let's hope so and then I also got um, some brow color so I'm really excited to try this this is in the shade black and brown um, and I'll be using that today as well so I'll give you a first impression on that so it comes in a little jar like this little puddle and I've never actually used like a gel formula thing like this and so I also got a brush to go with it. So I'm excited because usually I use like a crayon type pencil or like a powder. So it'll be interesting to see if I can manage it. So those are all just the little extra things that I got. But the most exciting part is my little pony stuff. Alrighty, so it comes in this cute box with the names on the back but this is just the packaging is the actual palette that's inside look at it it's gorgeous and again the names are on the back so i was um i was expecting this to be bigger not like i'm not disappointed at all because i actually love the size it's just perfect for travel just fits in my hand really nicely i'm super happy all my palettes are massive so it's nice just to have a little one that I can just carry around. It's so cute. And then here's the inside. I'm so excited to use them. All of them. All of them are amazing. All of them are different. Some palettes, you know, you get like a lot of shades of the same colour, but this they're all so unique, but they all can work well together. So I'm really excited to use them. Oh, so you can see both of these 
the quality. I've got a baby wipe here and it's just not wanting to come off, even the liner, which is quite cool. To start with, I'm going to take the shade Applejack here. I can't wait till I learn the name so that I don't have to look back here. But I'm going to take the shade Applejack, which is this shade right here, and pop that in my crease just using a blender brush. Just quite a big fluffy blender brush, picking up on the shade and popping that in my crease. I'm really not liking that brush. It's just, ugh. I'm gonna grab a different brush because I well, that brush was horrible. And I am just going to blend in a little bit more. Cool, that is just a nice, beautiful transition shade just to pop in the crease and just to start off with. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Flutterby, which is this beautiful morphe purple here, and I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to place that in my crease as well. I'm focusing it more in my crease rather than blending it right out like I did with the previous shade. And I'm very lightly just blending that in. That's such a nice color. And you can see how easy these are just to blend out. I have like a patch of skin on the side of my eye that my eyeshadow loves to cling to. I'm just going in with another layer and just blending that out. Cool. I'm really happy with that. That is such a beautiful color. Now for the exciting part, I'm going to go in with the shade Blossom, which is this shade right here. I'm going to use... I think I'm actually just going to use my finger. Sometimes I find it easier to pick up more products. So I'm going to take my pinky. I'm just going to place it in the middle of my eyelid. Wow. So beautiful. And I'm just blending it kind of out to the sides, but really focusing it in the middle of my eye. So now I'm going to take the shade Starshine and I'm going to pop that on both the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyelid. Just picking up that shade. And I'm kind of bringing it up into the crease so it goes over top of the gold. It goes above the gold, I should say. And I'm just going to keep building it up. And now I'm going to go back and just with my pinky and the shade Blossom and just pop a little bit more. Now, using my blender brush, I'm going to go back in with the original shade that we started with, which was Applejack. And we're just going to bring that back into here and just blend that all in. And I'm bringing that pretty much right up to my eyebrow. Now I really want to bring a colour in under my eye because I love to do that. So I'm going to take the shade. Let me decide. Yeah, I'm going to take the shade Sky Dancer, which is this pinky purple one right here. Very lightly. This one seemed to be quite pigmented as well. And I'm going to place it under my eye. And I'm not bringing it down too far. I think that's probably quite perfect. And now in the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use the shade Snuzzle, which was this beautiful silver one right here. And I'm just going to use that same brush is actually fine. Whoa, yep, that one is super pigmented too. As you can see, hopefully. Now, just using my fluffy blender brush, I'm going to take the shade Bluebell and I'm going to place it, blend that up 
under my eyebrow just to highlight that a bit more. I'm just grabbing another blender brush, just one that I haven't used yet. I'm going to take the shade E. I'm going just to start with, I'm just going to say I'm going to take the shade Firefly and I'm going to pop a little tiny bit of that under my eyebrow because I don't want it to be too silver like that silver there. Um, I just want a little bit of a highlight. I'm just going to pop some on my nose while I'm in it. It's kind of iridescent that shade there. I'm also just going to take my fan brush right here and I'm going to take that same shade which was Firefly. <laughs> I cannot remember these. I feel like I've been really boring in this video, like not talking too much. I'm like struggling with deciding whether to talk and the video being really long or to just get the makeup done. <laughs> I don't know. Now I really can't, I've, I'm a dick. I'm such a dick, I forgot. I actually bought a highlighter. So let's open this up and we can use it as well because I didn't put too much on. Okay, I put a bit on. We can, you know, you can't have too much highlighter. Okay, I haven't actually looked at this, so this is exciting. Cute little package. Um, I can't actually, does it say? It doesn't actually sh say which shade this one is. Because yeah. these these do come in different shades. I, so I'm sorry, but I can't remember which one this is. But look how cute that is. Let's just put it straight onto our face. Not really seeing too much happen. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you see that? It just picks up on my arm when you look it out without any light. It doesn't look that pigmented, but it really does pick up the light. Oh my god, my laptop's about to turn off. So I think maybe using um, a bit of brush might help. This brush isn't so good for picking up lots of product. Oh no. That's good. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. So we'll just place that back over top of all the other highlighter I've put on my face. And we're going to be glowing today, but that's okay. Cool. That's cool. I really like that highlighter. I'm really happy with that. And I found something else. I've just completely forgotten, like, what else I bought and so this whole thing has just been about the eyeshadow but I've also got um, a super shock eyeshadow I guess we'll just have to use it in another video but I can swatch it now anyway so this is in the shade Sunbeam and the beautiful purple I guess this wouldn't really look go with the look I've done anyway today it's so like mermaidy I'm in love with it Okay, I'm gonna swatch it. I'm so excited for this. I can already tell it's pigmented AF. Oh, cool. That is it right there. Super sparkly, super beautiful. Has um, like a pink offset shimmer in it. I really like that. Um, I'm trying to think if I could put it in anywhere. I'll put a little bit. I really want to use it but I just don't know where. I'll pop a little bit in the inner corner of my eye. Hopefully I'm not being ridiculous. Um, I'm actually just going to use my pinky for it and oh, it's so cool. It's like um, so pigmented. I don't even know. Now just so this doesn't look so crazy, I'm going to place a little bit on the outer corner as well. This is just like the tiniest amount. I just feel like I have so many colours on my face right now. I'm just in love with all of them. That's beautiful. I'm really happy with that. I'm looking forward to creating like a proper look focused around this. Definitely. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. So we're going out of the My Little Pony universe and we're just going to the normal Colourpop universe and I'm kind of nervous because this could go 
incredibly wrong. <laughs> I've never actually used um, a brush like this per se to do my eyebrows. <sighs> if I can even open. <sighs> so this was yeah the brown black. I've got yeah pretty much. I'm pretty sure my eyebrows are just black. So let's attempt this. Okay, already I'm struggling. I really can't tell <laughs> what's happening. The brush is very, um, quite long, so it bends. So far, the pomp like this is incredible, whatever this is. Pomade? I'd call it pomade, but I'm not sure. It's really good, I can already tell that. Um, the brush, I don't know if it's the brush or me. It just sucks. But um, definitely like a little bit of this is going a long way. It's just really staying on my brush. I'm not really having to dip it in as often as I thought I would. But I'm definitely not like, can you see the shape of this eyebrow? I don't really understand what's happening. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just feel like I have no control over this brush and it just does what it wants to do. How's that looking? It's looking really thick to me and very dark. How am I feeling? I feel like I'll just do the other eyebrow and then we'll see. And it could just go awfully wrong, but. Oh gosh, I just feel like that eyebrow is hideous. Let's try the other eyebrow. Fuck. <laughs> this is hilarious because it's so bad. So bad. Okay. Yep, let's laugh at my eyebrows because. <laughs> this is not I need more practice man I definitely need more practice with this whole thing I can't fix these so they're very dark the um, Colourpop pomade seriously like stays definitely just um, doesn't come off doesn't want to come off and I don't know how to fix my eyebrows, so I'm left with these monstrosities. Let's pop some eyelashes on. Well, I was going to do um, eyeliner, but I think that this look will be fine without it, and I don't really want to risk ruining it. Um, I also recently bought white eyeliner, so I feel like that could look quite cool. But again, I'm nervous. I don't really want to ruin my makeup. We could try, we could try. Should I do it? I'm going to do it. So, by the way, this is Wet n Wild. I just wanted a white eyeliner and I wanted to practice, so I just got a really cheap one. But from swatching it, it feels incredible. Look how long it is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not liking that. But I do feel like I could blend it out and it could be quite cool, actually, now that I'm looking at that like that. And I'm just gonna blend it in. Yeah, I really like that. That looks quite cool. I'm going to you. The middle pair there, which are the center. So I've just applied my mascara using the Colossal Big Shot, and now I'm gonna wait for this to dry a bit, and then we will apply the lashes. So the two colors that I got with the My Little Pony package were the Ultra Matte Lip and the Ultra Gloss Lip. Um, I love matte, so I'll most likely be going with that, but we'll swatch them both right now. So the Ultra Glossy Lip is this really cool, sparkly, color cool pony land. Okay, okay. I thought this was going to be quite glossy and not very pigmented, but it is pigmented. So now I'm kind of like, oh, I want to try it. So as you can see, it's yeah, it's actually very pigmented, very opaque, and beautiful. I'm, I'm excited to try that. And then the ultra matte that we got is the lemon drop one. So this is just well, let's swatch it and find out. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do both. I'm gonna go. On the bottom with this one and then gloss over top because look at that that is super pigmented such cool color okay I'm excited so there are the lashes applied so let's go in with a lemon drop yes so silky easy to apply 
Yeah, it dries super fast. Cool, it's a little bit difficult to apply. It dries really fast, so you really wanna um, get it on. Otherwise, you push it around and it kind of starts to bleed off the side. But other than that, it's a really cool color. I'm gonna pop the gloss over top. This is a lot thicker. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I think that I could create a really cool look using these and that eyeshadow. That Super Shock eyeshadow oh, would be perfect. Um, but it was good to play around with the other colors as well. I'm gonna pop a little bit of highlighter under my eyebrow. You just notice these little things once you've done everything else. I'm going to actually take the silvery shade because I feel like I can go quite intense now that I've got this look. On. And there we have it, the final look. We'll put some setting spray on. Dried cosmetics, of course. I need to buy some new stuff. I don't know what brand I'll get though. This was good. I can't really compare it to anything else though because this was the first ever one I've used. So. These eyelashes are so cool. I'm super happy with them. I think that eyeliner actually looks quite nice. Like it's kind of like a smoky wing. I've just kind of blended it out and I think that looks quite cool. And that makes it super easy. If you are just beginning with makeup, get a white eyeliner. Seems scary at first, but the fact that you can just blend it into your eyeshadow like that, it's quite cool. Yeah, I'm super, super happy with everything. Especially the lip stick and that lip gloss. I thought the lip gloss was kind of like, I just got it because it was in the came with the package deal. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought it, but I'm in love with that. Overall, I'm really happy with everything, actually, like, the only thing <laughs> would have to be the eyebrows, but the pomade, the actual formula was incredible, so I think if you were really, like, if you were good with the whole brush, brushing your eyebrows on, um, then yeah, that's so affordable and really good. I just, I'm not used to that and I suck at it. So I will practice though. I really love the eyeshadow palette, like the colours in there, I just feel like there are so many different looks you could do with it. So I'm super happy with that and I would just recommend Colourpop completely. The only reason I never buy off there is that shipping is quite expensive and so when I bought this shipping was free, it was like a Black Friday deal so I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. But now I probably would invest in the shipping because I really am happy with the quality of everything. So that's the final look, the final verdict, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic day or evening or whatever time that you watch this video it is. Anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe and like and all those things. It would mean a lot to me. I don't know how many people actually watch this video, video my videos or enjoy them, but I enjoy making them so I'm just going to keep doing it. And also if you have any like suggestions for videos let me know i'm thinking i might do boyfriend does my makeup so um thumbs up if you think that would be a great idea and yeah see you later okay just letting you guys know little update this lipstick uh, it's like going really cakey in the inside of my mouth. I don't know if it's the lipstick or the gloss or both mixed together, but it isn't nice. I didn't even put that much on. Ugh. It's like paint peeling off. It's going on toilet. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I should let you know. Um, but it's still like beautiful color, but yeah, it does go a little bit cakey in the inside of my mouth. I don't know if that's the right word to describe it, but yeah. Just a little, little give you a little update. Bye.